On a May afternoon in 2006 in London, Ontario, John Dobbs drove himself and his two daughters into the path of a dump truck. All three were killed. Mixed with the heartbreak for the girls and their mother were questions about what was happening to men like Dobbs while they were facing domestic violence charges. Look at those men and we look at typically who those men are in crisis, often homeless, often um, having uh, serious uh, depression and loss and uh, in addition to that the, the um, court stresses that are involved and, and the non-association with his family, all of those things that come with it. Um, those sort of moments of crisis, we thought those are the exact moments we need to really begin to work with these men to try to change the outcomes. The conversations after the Dobbs tragedy led to a London-based research study. Forty men accused of domestic violence received counselling from Changing Ways. They were compared with 40 accused men who did not receive counselling. What we found in that project um, was actually quite startling in terms of the outcomes for the men we worked with. The men who received counselling got into further trouble with the law at a far lower rate than those who did not receive counselling. The key was to reach the men right after they were charged. So I guess when you think about yourself in a moment of change that you want to make change and you feel that you're in a crisis, you're more open to hearing somebody and, and listening and, and working on something different versus, you know, six, eight, ten months later when the, the crisis has passed and, and you've gotten used to a different way of being. Follow-up studies in London, Woodstock, Sudbury, Strathroy and Ottawa showed similar results. We've also had um, numerous requests from other communities across this province to look at the results that we had and um, to try to see if there are ways that they can, we can replicate that in their own communities. So we were in communication with other centers. I think one of the biggest challenges for communities is to try to figure out, you know, how, how do we how do we pay for this, this service, this, it, which, which from my perspective is an essential service to, to prevent violence against women. How do we pay for that? And Some men accused of domestic violence in Ontario are mandated by the courts to get counselling which is paid for by the province. But counseling for men who seek help voluntarily is not funded by the province. Kelly and other anti-violence advocates are pushing to change that. The Attorney General is going through a massive review of the work we do with men in this province. What we're pushing for is that this be a part of that conversation. Kelly knows counseling for men accused of domestic violence faces a natural barrier in society. We have a, 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 a revulsion for someone who's going to hurt someone who is close to the us or someone that we care about, whether it's children or partners or uh, in relationships. And I think that, you know, there's a, there's a natural sort of inclination to say you've, you're, you've done something wrong and we're going to punish you for that. And I, and I think that that's, that's natural. I think that what we need to do is move a little bit beyond that conversation and say, okay, that we have a system in place that will actually respond to the crime that's taking place the assault. But Kelly says even those unsympathetic to the accused have to understand the impact on potential victims of doing nothing. The reality is these men we work with will go on to new relationships. And unless we really begin to target and under, help them understand these are how you, you remain safe in these relationships, these are the kinds of things you need to attend to about yourself, then, then we're, we're looking at just recreating another scenario where he's likely possibly going to hurt someone else. So we can have a system that responds to him through criminal justice, but we also need to respond to him to say to him, this isn't acceptable and here's what we're going to do to make this different for you. So there's, that's what prevention is about. It's not about you know, trying to make him feel better about himself, because that certainly isn't the work we do in Changing Ways. What we are trying to do is say, you're responsible for the damage you've done and we're going to work with you to make sure that doesn't happen again.